Good afternoon, Family Medicine. How was your day? It was pretty good. Anything interesting? I delivered a baby. Well, that's exciting. I admitted three patients to the hospital. Oh, okay. Sounds like a very productive. I discharged two patients. I called six consults. I completed eight prior authorizations. I saw 30 adults and 10 kids in clinic, and I went to a quality improvement committee meeting, and I stayed awake. That's quite a day. Yeah, and now I get to go home for some family time. Work-life balance. That's wonderful to hear. Oh, no, I called the charts I have to complete at home, my children. Tonight I have 25 children. Family medicine? This is not healthy. Well, it sure would be nice if somebody could do all my charting for me. I know what you're trying to do. What? You're trying to summon a Jonathan. I heard he has really good hearing. You can't just shout a task and expect an ophthalmologist scribe to show up. <gasps> He's here! Family medicine, you don't need him. You can find the Jonathan within yourself. But I don't like that Jonathan. I want the good Jonathan. I'm sorry, I won't allow it. Yeah, okay. I'll just continue doing an impossible amount of work. Family medicine, people are taking advantage of you. You need to learn how to say no. I can say no. Oh, really? Last month when admin asked you to extend your clinic to 7 p.m., what did you say? I said okay and cried about it later. And what should you have said? No. That's right. And next time the general surgeon asks you to complete his resiliency modules, what will you say? No. That's right. And when admin asked me to serve on the committee to come up with more committees, what will you say? No. That's right. And when the CEO asks if I'd be okay accepting cafeteria coupons in exchange for my salary, what will you... Wait, what? I'll just say no. I want real money. I think you need a new job.